Hello guys, this is Paulo Haddad and in this video I want to discuss a little bit about the differences between PyDSS interface version 1 and version 2. Uh, the latest version we have is PyDSS 2.0.2 uh, and this package is a Python package that provides you an interface to control the official version of OpenDSS. Uh, the idea of this video now is I will open two different Python projects, one with the version 1, and I'll show you a little bit how you can use it, and then I will show you another Python project that I'll be using version 2, and I'll let you know what you need to change from version 1 to be able to use version 2, which is the one that I recommend. Okay, so let's go ahead and open my first project, my Python project. This is my Python project, as you can see here on the top, is PyDSS Interface version 1, that's the name of the project. Uh, let me show you a few things about this project. If I open the terminal here in PyCharm and type python dash dash version, uh, you see that I'm using Python 3.7.9. Um, 3.7 is the latest Python version that uh, PyDSS interface version 1 works. So if you have Python 3.8 and above, you need to install Python uh, PyDSS interface version 2, and it's automatically uh, done by pip. Okay. So another thing that I want to show you is pip list. So in this project you see that I have different Python packages and I have PyDSS interface 102. That's the version one. So here really quickly to show you things about this package, uh, let's say I have already a DSS file uh, that is my IEEE 13 bus that I got from the uh, OpenDSS folder uh, and we use that to, to do some things here with you. So the first thing I need to do is to create the object. So DSS, I, I, I like to call it DSS, which is pretty much creating an object of the Py DSS interface dot DSS DLL. So in the version one, that was the class that I create my instance, DSS instance, okay, or my object. Um, so with that, that object, the first thing we need to do then, the next thing we need to do is to compile my system. Compile, and then I will add the DSS file. Perfect, so we have now that circuit in memory, uh, and with that we can do, let's say, DSS uh, Sova PowerFlow and we might ask uh, for the voltage so I'm not teaching you here the commands uh, I have a playlist doing that we can also do that for version 2 I'm just trying to show you the differences between the, the two versions okay so here I'm gonna maybe show voltages line neutral nodes just to make sure it works if I run this code right click and run You see, okay, it, it shows me the voltage, that, that's great. So things I wanna do here with you guys really quickly, let's say that I want to get the KW of my first load of the circuit, okay? So to do that, let's say I go dss.loads, uh, and then first, I'm activating the first, okay, um, first load. Uh, I can get the name of this load by doing dss.loads uh, name read. So I'm, I'm sorry, loads and then read name. Okay, so I'm getting the name of that load and then I'm going to get the KW of that load, dss.loads uh, read KW. And then later, what I want to do, I want to uh, write, uh, change the KW of that, that load. So we'll do DSS and then loads. And to do that, I'm going to use the write uh, KW. And then maybe I will do two times the original KW. Um, double that load, okay? All right, with that, I want to maybe get my KW2 to see that. So I can read that again and just to print out things i would say uh load and then i can get the name of the load which is name uh had kw equal to k 
kw and then and now has kw equal to uh, kw2 right so what I just did here I don't think I need to show this anymore I'm um, activated the first load I got he the name of this load I got the kw and I changed it the kw to get those two parameters I used the read structure uh, and for writing I used the write okay so when you run this 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 code you see that I have here load 671 had that kw and now has that okay so it just double the kw um, now this is how you do things like that in version one now let me get this code use my project that I have version 2 and see what I need to change okay so let's grab this code here and let me open the other one which is this one I can change here I also have the DSS file ready there um, and I just cut and paste okay now first thing we you could do is just run it but before that let let me go back here terminal in the terminal let's see my Python which is version I guess 311 okay 311 okay so above 38 we need to use PyDSS interface version 2 which is this one and I can confirm that with you people list so I have different packages but this this is the one the latest one PyDSS interface 202 okay very nice now let's go back and try to run this code if you run this code you see there's a bunch of errors but here's a there's a message that I, I read for you guys so if you get a code that has a syntax uh, that works for ver version 1 and you try to run version 2 I kind of give you what you need to do here one option would be go back to version 1 and then use just version 1 or option 2 is update the syntax and that's what I'm gonna do here with you guys so first we need to change is we're not using DSS DLL anymore what we are just using is DSS okay that's it now as you can see we can run part of the code but it breaks here in the loads okay loads first now the idea is that we don't have as before let me show you in the version one if you for instance type dss dot you see that I have circuit underscore and then you have dss underscore loads underscore and all the the, the, the kind of I would say interfaces bus loads whatever you type it and you have an underscore right you can see that here okay now version 2 is different version 2 if you want to do something with loads you're going to do dss dot loads okay and then dot there's no underscore anymore it's just like dss dot the interface one can be loads can be bus can be circuit can be the different options we have as i can show you here dot you see that i have task circuit load bus what do you want i want to loads okay loads perfect and then i have the option first which is to activate the first load so i can take this out there is no underscore it's just changing the underscore by dot here in this case okay that's the same now the the, the other change we have in the package to make it it more pythonic is we don't have this ready uh, read and write okay we uh i'll show you what we can do here uh so let me change here so let's say name it's equal dss it's loads right loads dot sorry dot name okay and that's it so now if you want to assign the name of a load to a variable that's how you do it before you need to specify you know specific specific specifically saying read and then that would read the name now you don't need to do that another difference is that we were using a method before or a function right uh inside of class is a method but now it's just an attribute you don't need to call in par with parentheses okay so that's the, um, the change and this is we can do very quickly here take the read add dot and PyCharm will help you with code completion here, okay? And now, that's th this one is interesting. 
So when you get the name and assign to a variable, you hold the name of the load in the name variable. Now I want to change or assign a different value to my attribute. To do that, that's how you do dss.loads.kw. That's the one that I want to change. And then I want two times kw. So you can read the kw in that way and, and you can write the kw in that way. Now I'm assigned to kw to this attribute. Okay, that's pretty much the difference. Uh, here I can uh, now get what is the kw2 by just dot here is not a method and now I can run and now I have the same uh, print command here uh, that we had before so pretty much guys that's the idea now we have like this interface is in the middle you do dss dot circuit dot bus dot you know loads lines and then dot to get uh, the properties they are not uh, most of them now are are attributes not methods and the way you assign um uh, an attribute to a variable is basically in this way and the other uh, option is to assign a number or a value of value to an attribute and that's how you do here okay so those are the differences between version one and version two uh, please let me know if you like this video if you like it please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you in the next video